I did it. I got to 1 million Neoxa, which means it's time to run a master node. So before we take next steps, let's look backwards a little bit to see the journey that it took for me to get here in case you're looking to go on a similar journey yourself. So I made a video getting started solo mining back on December 1st when I got my 6600 XT rig. Yeah, 12 car 6600 XT rig back online. And I was looking for something to do. And I liked Neoxa. I especially liked that it had master nodes because I'm a big fan of being able to take my GPUs or my ASICs or whatever and mine a cryptocurrency and get a certain amount of it and then go mine something else while that cryptocurrency generates more of itself for me. Uh, and the master nodes for Neoxa will certainly do that. And I also love solo mining when I can do it where I'm gonna hit a block pretty regularly, daily, maybe weekly. It seems fun, it's entertaining for you, it's entertaining for me. So I decided to do that when I resurrected my 12 card 6600 XT mining rig. And that's the only rig I had on it at the time. Uh, but the story is a greater story than that because I wound up adding a lot of more rigs and a lot more GPUs on it over time. But let's take a look at how the solo mining did. So there it is right in the top there. I solo mined 850,000 Neoxa with a 99% solo effort. And this is the thing that is really interesting looking back. So your solo effort is this kind of thing about it. Like if I'm mining to a pool with all my GPUs, the pool is just paying me out in proportion to my hash rate. And that would give me like 100% effort because I'm getting rewarded exactly for what the hash rate I'm putting in. When you go solo mining, you have this luck factor or maybe you'll hit more blocks or less blocks than you statistically would if you were mining to a pool. So if this said 100% instead of 99, I'd be doing exactly what I would get with the pool. Uh, but it says 99%, so I came out 1% luckier, I guess, than if I mined to a pool. Though I will say I was looking really good for a while. I was in like the 80s here. Uh, and then what happened, and you can see some of these recent blocks I hit just absolutely crushed me. This block took 1,000% effort. There's another one that was just monster of a block. Let's see if we can find it here. 2,000% um, effort. I think there were some that were even maybe worse, or maybe those were the worst ones towards the end that really jumped up uh, my solo effort from the 80s all the way up to 99%. But that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to average out over time to be about 100% effort. The other thing I did along the way, once I got all of my kind of like GPUs on it that I was satisfied with, I explored the iNose platform. Uh, and this worked out really well. And there's a lot of trust here because this is a risk. I actually took my Neoxa and I sent it to their platform. So they now hold my Neoxa. But the risk in doing that is I'm now going to get paid out like it was a master node. So they take the amount that you send them, join them and pool them with other people's Neoxa so they can get to the 1 million collateral required and then you get paid out in proportion to what you've sent them. And the hopes is that when this is all said and done, they're gonna send you, in this case, my Neoxa right back to my wallet and that's the big risk associated with this. And they did, I requested the payout, got it at the end of the month uh, and I got what I had sent them plus what I gained while it was in there. So. That really worked out for me, and I'm thinking about exploring that a little bit further when I get this node set up. More on that later in this video. The other thing I did because I got super impatient was use Unminable once they listed Neoxa on there. So I took all of my ET hash and ETC hash A6 plus my KSO Pro Castle Miner, and I shoved them all over to Unminable to get paid out in Neoxa because I wanted to get this done and do something else. And what was challenging along the way was just kind of like the rising and falling difficulty of Neoxa. So I was getting less Neoxa than I was before, which means I needed to add more hash rate to kind of like stay on pace. But ultimately all said and done, I have over the 1 million Neoxa. Um, it was successful. It took me about four months and this is it here right in my wallet. I have 1 million and 50,000 Neoxa and change ready to go. Let's take a look at actually how much is that in USD in case you wanted to just avoid doing all of this and just buy it. So let's check out CoinGecko here and put in that amount of Neoxa that I generated and see what that's worth right now. It's worth $2,038. And if memory serves, the price of Neoxa has definitely come down as the market has also come down. So 
hey, listen, maybe it's a good entry point for you if you're just looking to buy the collateral, not financial advice, um, or maybe take a look at how the network difficulty uh, and rewards have adjusted based on the falling price of the OXA. So uh, that is what I've done so far. Now taking a look more about the node, what are my next steps? And I wanted to take a look at what this actually will generate in income now with that price coming down pretty far and I'm sure more and more nodes coming online since I first started doing this. So I'm over on Masternodes Online. They have Neoxa there. Uh, and this is a one node. This is all of the data for one node here. So what I'm looking at is, I'm gonna go weekly income, about $14. Uh, monthly income, $60. And yearly income, $700. Definitely way down from the USD value that it once had. But what I'm looking at is the uh, yearly, I'm also taking in almost, we're we'll gonna say 300, we'll say 370,000 more Neoxa, which gets me again, part way to another node. So this is kind of like a no brainer for me. I need to just take my 1 million, get it mining, uh, get it mining, mining's on the brain, get it in a node uh, and get it earning this income for me. Which brings me to how am I gonna do this? So I need to meet the requirements to run a Neoxa node, which are very, very lean requirements. You could pretty much run it on any computer. Um, so I can do that here locally at my house, or I can do it on a VPS, a virtual private server, where I will pay to host my node somewhere else. There's pros and cons to each of these things. When you wanna do it at home, you, you have to have the hardware, it has to have good uptime, um, and you can only run one from all the research I've done because you have to use one dedicated IP address, which is all I can have, I have one residential IP address. I do have a server that I can put this on, it's running several Cumulus nodes for Flux right now, though I am out of RAM, I'm maxed out. So what I need to do is purchase some more RAM for my old Dell Enterprise server to put my Neoxa node on there, which is exactly what I wanted to do at first. I was gonna run it on Proxmox, which is virtualization software, to run it on there, um, and that would be it. I'd run it here at my house, and my cost is nothing. I really, I'm not paying anybody to host it. Um, but there's a thing that I learned about me, is that then I'm like, okay, where's the best place to buy the RAM? How much RAM should I get? Should I just upgrade the server instead of buying RAM? I wonder what new servers cost nowadays. What would I do with my old server? On and on and on and on. And then I just would never get to it. And then I would lose out on all that money you just saw uh, on Masternodes Online. So I'm gonna do the smart approach instead of the usual approach. And I think I'm actually gonna host this on a VPS so I can just get this done. That allows me to still figure out if I wanna run this at home in the future, but not lose out on any income now. So I am using a hosting provider for my big boy flux nodes. So that's kind of the first place I wanted to take a look at, and that is a node orbit here. And they have Neoxa listed, and you can get a VPS and run Neoxa, and it's all set up, it's really easy to do. And it's $6 per month if I buy an annual subscription, which comes out to $72 a year. So then I was looking into how that cuts into like my profit margin on all of this, and it's, it's really like nothing, honestly. $6 per month, when I'm gonna be taking in, as of right now, $60 per month. So it really is just you're taking 10% to go towards running this. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that, especially like I don't have to worry about it. They've been great with my flux nodes on here. The uptime has been 100%. So I'm feeling pretty good about getting this running on node orbit along with the flux nodes that I have. So really, my next step is to go ahead and buy this, which I'm gonna do, and then I can start setting this up. Server is purchased, you can see it right there, and the next step is gonna go over to my Neoxa wallet, which you can see right here with the balance in it, and now I need to make a transaction because the wallet address can only have the exact one million, so let me create a new receiving address. I'm gonna call it Masternode, and I need to do exactly the one million. So one followed by six zeros. Neoxa, and apologies if you can hear the pump on the PC that this is hosted on, it decided to die 
and is making horrible noises as I'm filming this video, but we're going to keep going. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that. There is the payment address. So I'm going to copy that address in, exit out of this. Now I'm going to go over to send and I'm going to send to that address, which you can see I got the right one. It's got the master node there. I'm going to send 1 million Neoxa. So 1 followed by 6 zeros. You can see it right there. I'm going to make sure to not subtract the fee from the amount because I need it to be the exact 1 million. And then I'm going to just send that transaction over to my address. You can see it's added on the fee on top of that. And I'm just going to hit yes. So let's go take a look at my transactions. Okay, we needed to wait to get one confirmation on that transaction, which we did. So now I need to build out uh, what I have here in Notepad and customize this quick setup for me. So I needed to copy that transaction ID. So I'm gonna paste that in and replace the one here. Next, I need to go to the debug console, which we're gonna do from tools, debug console, and I'm gonna enter in here, smart node outputs. That's gonna give me some more information to enter in there. And what I'm looking for is that one, so I have to replace the zero with a one. Now, when I do set this up, I have to pay a small fee, so I need to have to supply an address here that's gonna pay that fee. And one thing I can do is stay in this debug console and then type list address balances. We're gonna take this one right here. It's gonna show me the addresses that I have and the balances that are currently in them. And I'm just gonna choose one to pay that fee uh, which is going to be this top one right here. Last thing I need to do here is just replace the IP address uh, with the one that's provided from the node over platform, which I have right here. So I'm going to take that, leave the port uh, in there, but just replace the IP address that's default on here. All right, finally, I'm going to take this whole string and I'm just going to paste it right into the debug console. And what you'll see is operator secret, and I need to take all of that text string and copy it. And then I think I just take that over to node orbit, and we're gonna select some actions here and update node data. Paste in that key, hit update, and see what happens. Node updated successfully, so let's return to the dashboard. Give me a couple quick error messages that freaked me out a little bit, but I guess it was just working through the setup process, so now it says node is ready and earning rewards. So I think that's it, I'm done. I mined one million Neoxa, I actually did it, and then I made the node in this video, and now it's earning rewards, and I didn't procrastinate too much, and it's done, and I can move on to something else, which you will stay tuned to the channel and sub if you're not already for videos on what I'm planning to do with the rigs that no longer are mining Neoxa. I think Note Orbit has a referral program. If you want to sign up for them, I'll leave it linked down uh, in the video description. But otherwise, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of your rigs, your nodes, everything. And I'll see you in the next video.